What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with the final part of Steam Siege Booster Box number two on the channel. So if you guys have not checked out uh, parts number one or two, links to those will be in the, in the description of the video alongside box number one as well, which we open the whole box in the one video. But with that said, there's nothing too much else to say. We have, we should have 12 packs here uh, to finish off this box today. As you guys will be able to tell, this, bo this box has been opened in thirds, where we've opened 12 packs per part. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, so spot on. But that said, no hesitations. We're going to finish off this box, hopefully with a bang. If you guys are keen to see what we get out of this box today, be sure to drop a like down below. And with that said, let's go. So yeah, all the codes will be given out into today, in today's video, so be sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video uh, to scoop up some codes. Hopefully one, uh, well preferably one, uh, if you could, I'd love to share the codes around with as many people as possible. But yeah, so we've got a Joltik, a Mantine, Drift limb that definitely looks like our hollow art how it's kind of got the lines in the background. It's very plain Who's the artist for that one Mickey M Mickey Tanaka never heard of that one um, that guy before or girl Mickey So we've got a Gardevoir spirit link a Duot, a dino reverse with raw and headbutt bounce and a Talon flame so this is a pretty good pull it has the ability ability gal wings which is which shows a lot of potential it says, if this Pokemon is in your hand when you are setting up to play the game, uh, play, you may put it face down as your active Pokemon. So you can get a stage two with 130 HP straight up on the field with an attack that for one energy um, that you just search for your deck for like anything that you want. Like that is crazy. Such a good card. Let me know, know what you guys think of that card in the description of the video, like playability wise and even art wise because it looks pretty, pretty cool. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Is there some gears? I think there's like gears and stuff in the like reflection there. So we're in some sort of like advanced city. Like it's like a, a rock kind of city. Like, I don't know. That's crazy. Let me know your theories on what city the Talonflame is flying through. Because that's crazy. That's some wild art. But yeah, so we got Volcanion in, the, in this pack. Talking about Volcanion, if you guys want to see some Volcanion goodness, no spoilers intended, be sure to go check out part one of this burst box. It was insane. Insane. The pause were absolutely wild. But yes, let's continue on. So we've got a Nose Pass, a Nidoran Male, a Litleo, Sneasel, Meryl, Skiploom, Greedy Dice, a Lampant Reverse, that one's a common with Mirror Mirror and Flickering Flames, or Uncommon, sorry, and... A Klefki. Oh no, that's a Klefki uncommon. I did the pack trick wrong, I think. It's either that or the pack, the cards were mixed up in the pack. But we got a Klefki there. Lampin, and then we got an Amoogus. So nothing all too crazy there. It's got crazy sport and strange reaction. So yeah, I had a bit of a strange reaction then when that uncommon popped up there. But continuing on, that's a bit of a bit of a weird name for an attack. Like strange reaction. So Amoongus like looks at you, has a strange reaction, and does 30 damage. Like what? What is that? So it's like if I looked at you funny, you would get hit with 30 damage just because I looked at you funny. That is just weird. Weird. There you guys go. Enjoy, enjoy. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are getting from those codes. I'd love to know if you guys are getting successful pulls out of those ones. But yeah, we got a Mankey, a Fungus, Anorith, Horlucha, a Duot, a Meowth Reverse, that one's got 60 HP with Stall and Scratch. And a Bastiodon, regular rare with Counterhead and Fortress of Rage. So let's keep cracking. This is pack number 4 out of 12. So we're uh, at, the, at the one quarter mark of this box being complete. And what an amazing box it has been. What an absolutely amazing box it has been. But this doesn't really spoil anything. But at this current moment, we have only pulled one Ultra Rare from the box so that is that is a little bit a uh, little bit weird so i'd hopefully be, i'd be hoping for at least one more um in this part so definitely stay tuned to see what ultra that one will be but we've got a tangrowth a special charge a shield on 
a special charge reverse. So that's pretty cool. This card is pretty playable at the moment. It says shuffle two special energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. So it's like a nice little refresh card. It's pretty cool. And a Samurott regular rare. So very plain looking art Samurott there. Looks very clean in my opinion. So it's not, it's not that dull, but it looks pretty clean. It's got 140 HP with ultimate blade and pike. Pike. So I'm guessing pike is like what it will do with its horn. It'll just like pike you. But next up is the Eveltol Break Pack Art. So let's go. There is yet another code. Codes for days, you guys. Once again, if you guys are uh, getting some good pulls from those codes, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I check every single comment that you guys post on my videos. So if I do not respond, do not take it personally. But I have taken the time to read your comment. But we've got a Captivating Pokepuff, a Skiploom, a Holucha, a Driftblend Reverse. That one is an Uncommon with Eerie Wave and Burst Curse. And a, Caba a Cabalion. Uh, regular rare so I like this art it looks very very majestic it is very plain once again but just the way they've done the art style it just looks really nice so it has quick guard and revenge blast and the artist who's the artist of that one uh, is it Kiriz Kirizaki Kirizaki that's pretty cool pretty cool name I like that I like that name but yeah let's move on so we got the Xerneas break pack art so how many packs do we have left we got one two three four five six so yes this pack will mark will mark the halfway point of part three of box two so you guys go let's go so we have a yanma shout out to candy Eevee with scout and speed dot we've got a fletchling a mari drift loon and an apom a gardevoir spirit link nuzleaf claw fossil anorith a Clauncher Reverse with 60 HP with double pincers. And an Infernape Hollow. Wow, this art is very, very powerful. Look at that. Check that. I love the flame detail on Infernape there with the kick. It's like a flame kick. That is epic. It's got 130 HP with Flare Blitz and Flare Up. That is epic. Let me know what you guys think of that Infernape. Infernape Hollow in the description of the video and let me know also if you guys would love to see an Infernape full art be made in a future uh, TCG expansion that would look absolutely epic they haven't really given too much love to the uh, Sinnoh starters so they really need to up their game on that one hopefully they can because that would be epic but let's go let's go so we've got a hollow so far so that's not too bad no reverse rares but hopefully this pack can kick it up for us in the second half of this final part of the box. So we've got a Meowth, a Chimchar, a Lampant, Ambipom, a Flaffy, a Reverse Mankey with 60 HP with Focus Energy and Flop. That is a bit of a weird attack. Once again, nice little gear themes. They really like emphasize on the gears. And once again, Mankey is in that weird city. Like, let me know what you guys think that city is. Like, Talonflame was in there as well. I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Hashtag Pokemon Sun and Moontown. But, um, let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a Steelix EX. That is awesome. That is one of the um, one of the best EXs, in my opinion, based on art-wise, in the set. Check that out. Like, I feel as if the Mega's really overdone, but this regular, they've done it just right. I reckon that is awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But it's got 180 HP with Wild Edge and Iron Tail. It's just a shame that, yeah, all the energy costs are huge. Like, Wild Edge takes four energy, Iron Tail takes five, and then the retreat alone is just four. Which isn't too bad, because that's too double colorless. But, um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. I love that art. Absolutely love that art. But let's go. So we've still got, we've still got a couple of packs left to go, so let's keep cracking. I can, I can admire that card after the video. There we go. Let's go. So we've got a Mareep. Mareep. A Bergmite. Fungus. Joltik. A Litwick. A Pokemon Ranger. Anorith. A Ninja Boy. So Pokemon Ranger and Ninja Boy in the same pack. That's pretty cool. Feel free to pause and have a read of what Ninja Boy does. Just there if you guys would like. It's pretty cool. I love the card. Makes the game very interesting. But we've got a Litwick with Slightly Simmer. And a Hooper. That's pretty cool. So this is one of the cooler looking regu uh, regular rare arts 
in the set if you guys cannot tell it looks pretty sweet i absolutely love the um the computer generated art on this card it looks absolutely amazing yeah it's got hyperspace punch and portal strike so not bad not bad so we've got the Volcanion pack art for the fourth to last pack from the box in this final part here. But yeah, if you guys have not checked out pass number one and two, I've tried not to spoil it as much as I can, but yeah, be sure to go check out those ones. Link will be in the description of the video. We get some crazy, crazy goodies in those parts. But um, we've got a Pawniard, a Seedot, Clink, a Marit, Bergmite, Persian, a Flaffy, whoops, a Driftlim, a Steelix Spirit Link Reverse, that's pretty cool to go with that little Steelix we pulled just before, not bad, and an Avalug Regular Rare, so yeah, one of the more underwhelming pulls to get from Steam Siege, it's got 120 HP with Crunch and Melting Flow, but yeah, it's pretty cool, I do I do like the um, uh, the Bergmite, just chilling in the back of Avalug there, but yeah, not the craziest pull from that one. So let's keep moving on. Three packs to go. So we've got the Eveltal Break Pack art here. So yeah, this last part hasn't been anything all too special yet. So we've got two pulls so far. So hopefully this pack can kick it up a notch for us. Even with the hollow. Because I know the hollow pull ratio has been pulled up, uh, been um, buffed quite a lot. So hopefully we can kick it up a notch. But we've got a Rufflet, a Ponyta. A Fletchender, do what? Azumarill, a Flaffy Reverse with Ram and Thundershot. They really like to overuse that attack in the in the TCG as of late. Lots of cards with Ram, and an Ampharos Hollow. So that is a pretty pretty cool Hollow. This this Hollow is really growing on me in this set. I really I'm really starting to appreciate it. I like how it's kind of like a really like dark art, but then the card is like electric and really like bright. It really makes Ampharos stand out a lot. But yeah, let's have a, a nice look at this art. So we've got a boat in the background. It's got the moon, like a little shooting star over here. But yeah, nothing nothing all too crazy in the background, but it just looks really nice. So it has the ability Shocking Light and the attack Gigavolt. That is such... I think I've seen that attack before as well. Gigavolt. Oh, was it on the Electivire regular, uh, Uncommon from Furious Fist? I have no clue. I think it is. Let me know in the comment section below if the Electivire from Furious Fist has Gigavolt as an attack. I'm pretty sure it does, if memory serves me correctly. There's the second to last code from this boost box. Hopefully you guys have been getting some good pulls once again from those ones. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys have been. But let's go. So we got a Sneasel, a Yanma, a Pom, Fletchinder, Pokemon Ranger, Tangrowth, a Shellos Reverse with 70 HP with Rain Splash, and a Nido King regular air 150 HP with King's Palace and power Lariat alrighty so guys we are on to the final boost packs of box 2 part number 3 so if you guys have enjoyed today's video so far be sure to drop a like down below and hopefully we can finish this uh, finish this box off with that hashtag last pack magic but there's the final code and let's go so, we have a Clauncher, we've got a Fletchling, Seedot, a Drifloon, Marrow, Captivating Pokepuff, a Driftblim, Ninja Boy, <laughs> and we have done it again, you guys. We have done it. We have finished it off on the highest of notes, talking about one of the mascots of the set. And we got a Weavile there. That is awesome as well. Check that art. Let me know what you guys think of that one. But we got an Eveltal Break. Check this out, you guys. So it has 150 HP, and it has the attack uh, Battleful Knight, which does 120 damage for three darkness energies, or dark energies. Uh, this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon that has any damage counter counters on it. Don't apply a weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. That's not bad. You get to hit the bench if the hit the bench while they're down. So Eveltal's bringing all the darkness to the TCG. But that's not bad. I like that. I like that. But yeah, that wraps up today's box opening. So let's have a quick little recap here and call it a day, I guess. So we have the Infernape Hollow, 
Not bad, not bad. We got the Ampharos Hollow. Awesome looking art on that one. I love that one. Then we got the Eveltor Break that we pulled out of that hashtag last pack magic, if you know what I'm saying. And we got the Steelix EX being the EX highlight of the part. But I am noticing a trend with EXs in the box. So yeah, that is interesting. Awesome looking art. Let me know what you guys think of that one in the comment section below. But with that said, that wraps up box number two of Steam Siege on the channel. So if you guys enjoyed this booster box opening, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you guys have not already, be sure to uh, go check out box number one, um, part numbers one and two of this booster box opening. And I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.